so hey guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel so guys today in this video i will be telling you how you guys can get a root access on your android devices with the help of the ksu manager application so until now if you really want to run the ksu application on your device you need a custom vendor boot image and you have to do a lot of stuff but right now after the update of the new update of the basically ksu application it works similar to the magic and you just need to uh, basically have a boot image so without wasting any more time let's get started so guys first of all on your render device you have to open your browser and search for the ksu application in the simply on the google and after that you will see uh, so many links just click on the topmost link which is of the github uh, releases and after that you will see the uh, you have to basically check out the latest version latest release of the ksu application and just a uh, little bit swipe down and click on show all assets after that it will show so many assets so just simply swipe down and search for this apk kernel su apk release.apk right you have to just simply click over it and uh, download it on your android devices as you can see i have already downloaded it now after that what you have to do is you have to uh, basically open your file manager any file manager and after that go in the downloads folder and just click on this kernel su application and install it on your android device just like a normal any application right so over here you can see uh, let me just uh, update it because i have already installed it so i will be not installing it again but after that, uh, your work is done on the Android. Now let's hop into the computer screen. So guys, on the computer, what you have to do is first of all, you have to search for the firmware of your device. So I have a Redmi Pad with me. So I will be searching for the firmware of my Redmi Pad. So simply just type your device name, uh, basically your device name. And after that, just add a firmware word. So any device you have, just type your device name and then firmware. So over here in the I I have a Redmi Pad so I will just simply type Redmi Pad firmware and there are so many websites I will click on this second website because that website looks cool to me and after that if I just little bit swipe down there are so many versions available I will be clicking on the China and basically you have to look uh, what version of uh, basically firmware your device is having so in my device uh, I am having MIUI 14.0.7 TLS uh, TLY CN NXM. So I will be downloading the fast boot room of this uh, version basically. So let me just click on the fast boot room and after that this downloading should be started. So let me just click over here and uh, over here you can just simply click on any mirror file. So basically I have already downloaded this uh, firmware so I will be not downloading it again. So after downloading it you have to extract it. So I have already downloaded in, in it in my Redmi Pad folder and I have extracted it. So over here you can see there are the three folders. I have a three ROMs uh, extracted in my device. But right now I am uh, having this 14.0.7 version running. So I will be opening that in the images. There are so many images uh, available in the images folder. So the main thing which we want is this boot image. Uh, this is the main thing from, uh, for which we have just downloaded this whole firmware. So now what we will be doing, we will be connecting our Android device with the PC and opening the downloads folder in the Android device. So let me just open my downloads folder and after that what we have to do is we have to copy this boot image in our Android device because we have to do some stuff on the our Android device now. So let me just open the my Android tablet also uh, because we have to do some stuff on the Android tablet. now. In the starting of the video, we have installed this kernel SU application. We have to just open it and click on this top right corner over this icon, right? After clicking on this icon, you will see this option. Just simply click on select a file. It will open the file manager. Select the boot image which we have just transferred from our PC to our Android and click on the next. After that, it will do start doing some processes and it will be making a kernel patched, basically KSU patched boot image. So here you can see the process is complete. Now just simply go back to your home screen and your work from tablet is complete now refresh the file manager on your basically uh, PC uh, refreshing doesn't work for me so I will be uh, disconnecting and reconnecting my Android tablet basically from my PC in order to get the all the file refresh so let me just open my internal storage and go into my downloads folder over here you can see I have a two boot images this is a kernel SU boot image which is just patched by our Android device and this is the old original boot image which we can just delete now because we don't need it only thing we need this kernel patched basically kernel KSU patched boot image not just simply uh, go I will be copying this in my PC in my local disk C folder you can copy it anywhere on your desktop or anywhere I will be copying it in my adb section so let me just open my file manager by mistake i just opened the chrome browser so over here we have uh, we will be copying this ksu boot image in our pc uh, 
you can copy it anywhere I will be copying it in the EDB folder and renaming it so let me just rename it very quick to some reasonable name because the real name is just really 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 wrong, uh, long so let me just rename it to the MIUI CN14 KSU boot image so let me just uh, rename it a little bit quick so over here the rename is complete uh, I just rena renamed it so that I can easily uh, understand what this boot image is because I have so many others boot image also in this folder so I'll just rename it there is no need to rename for you you can just simply copy it in the desktop folder uh, but I will strongly recommend to uh, to you to copy this thing in your, your local disk C folder only because sometimes you get error if you just copy it on the desktop or somewhere else or inside so many other folders so now after doing everything you have to open this command txt i will be uh, providing these commands in my telegram group so you can just simply join the my telegram group and uh, you can get these commands from my telegram group only so uh, first of all let me just sh show you in my device manager you have to connect your device in the fastboot mode with your pc by pressing the power button and as well as volume down button so let uh, here i have connected my device in the fastboot mode with my pc over here you can see in my device manager android phone it uh, basically adb connection is established now after that what you have to do is you have to just simply click on this uh, path above path and click on cmd if you don't know how to get this platform tool i have i have already explained this in my another the previous video I will be giving link of that video in description you can just go and check out now let me just type in the CMD fastboot devices to make sure my device is connected with the PC if you cannot see your device this number serial number make sure uh, your drivers are okay and you can just watch some other videos so now uh, I just forgot to tell you one more thing uh, from your basically this firmware folder in the images uh, you all have also you also want this vbmeta.img along with boot.img uh, you also need this vbmeta.img in order to disable the variety check otherwise you might get the boot loop so if you really don't want to get the boot loop you just make sure to also copy this vbmeta so in my this adb folder you can see i have this pad vbmeta.img over here so make sure you also get this pad vbmeta.img basically vbmeta.img of your device i have just renamed it to the pad vbmeta so that i can just understand this is for my redmi pad only so here you need these two files and my ui china boot image and this vbmeta so we have to uh, basically type our first command after the device is connected successfully in the fast boot mode with the pc just uh, copy it and just paste it uh, if you get any sort of error just simply uh, after typing this flash vb meta what you have to do is you have to drag and drop this uh, vb meta e dot img from wherever you have just basically kept it like on desktop folder just open that and drag and drop on the cmd so make sure your command uh, command something look like this and you should get something like this sending writing and finished there should be no errors right after that you have to just uh, flash the second command which is uh, this command so let me just copy it very quick uh, basically first edit it because i have re renamed the boot image in my uh, basically folder here, here you can see i have just re renamed it so i will be renaming it over here also and just then copy it and then paste it in the cmd now if you again get any type of error just go back make sure your command look like this password flash boot space and now drag and drop the boot image from where have where you have just kept it on the desktop folder just copy drag and drop now it should also look like this sending writing finished there should be no errors after this uh, all thing is complete the next command is fastboot reboot so now you have to just simply copy this last command fastboot reboot and paste it so let me just type it because uh, who is going to copy that so let me just type it fastboot reboot and now my device should be rebooting so let me just switch to my uh, phone android screen and show you the ksu is working so over here you can see on my android tablet basically uh, if i just open the magic the magic root access from the magic has been lost and if i open the ksu it uh, earlier it was showing not working and now it is showing working hence our device is successfully rooted with the help of the KSU application and if you are also the one person who is switching from the magisk so you can see over here uh, all the modules uh, I cannot show you the no modules flashed in my magisk now because I have just removed the magisk root access but in the KSU you can see there are all the modules pre-installed which I definitely didn't install after flashing the KSU they are all 
basically came from the magisk only so if you are a person who had the magisk and switching uh, switching to ksu after the basically routing your device with the magisk don't worry your all modules will be automatically uh, switch in ksu now remember in the ksu your jazz will not be enabled by default so you will need this uh, jazz next module in order to get jazz working on your device so if you really want to use ls post just install this jazz nest and from where you can get it you can get it from my telegram uh, group i will be mentioning the, uh, this link in the description just go and join this telegram group here you can find all the modules ls post modules files chat hub basically chat hub here you can just simply chat with the ai with the help of the ai models i have included in, the, in this my telegram group only now basically all the material you can just get on my telegram group so make sure you definitely join my telegram group so i hope that's it that's it in this video and i hope you really liked it if you did give a thumbs up and this is was a very simple way in order uh, to get ksu working on your device and there are many benefits of the ksu like by default your play integrity just passes and there are many other additional features so yeah definitely i hope you really like this video make sure to subscribe my channel like this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one till then stay home stay safe goodbye